Hey, it's Laura here. Today I am going to do my month in review for November. Now, um, you would have seen my team project pan, and I'm wearing the same outfit <laughs> because um, I just wanted to get a few things filmed today. So I'm looking the same, and I'm looking quite subdued for me normally because um, there's my eyeshadow. But what you can't see on here is that I'm wearing a crazy zebra print skirt. So. All the focus today is on my skirt and not on the rest of me. If I stand up, can you see it? Yeah, see. So I'm wearing this crazy printed skirt, so I wanted to keep my eyeshadow fairly neutral today. <laughs> that was the theory anyway. So we're gonna start with empties. And I have actually used four whole face masks this month instead of only one. <laughs> so, um, I was I was much more diligent about using face masks. Actually, no, that's not true because there's another one. So I've actually used five face masks this month. And I've finished up one of these, which is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Hair Cleanser and Mask. I mostly use this as a clay mask and I really like it and I've already repurchased. But, um, Sometimes I do use it as a cleanser as well. I have used my Detoxifying Glow Lab mask, which I have has been repurchased before. I quite like this one. I've used my Detoxifying Biodegradable Sheet Mask Super Green and Sunken. This one's all right. I don't remember it being anything. Oh, well, this is amazing or anything. It's just all right. <laughs> I use my Spots and Blemishes Anti Spot Pore Refining mask is in the Republic and this one is right. So this one is cruelty free. This one says it's got a biodegradable cotton sheet made in Taiwan. Natural, vegan, cruelty free, carbon neutral. This one here is cruelty free and recyclable. And this one here is cruelty free, doesn't say recyclable though. And then I found these ones which I had in a haul before. This is Manuka Honey in Hyaluronic Acid, and this is cruelty free as well, and it's made in New Zealand. So, I found this at the warehouse of all places. So I tried this, and this is different from the other masks. All these masks you use after you've cleansed and everything, and um, you leave it on, like you just pat it and whatever is left over. But this one, you cleanse and dry your skin, and then you put this on, leave it for 10 minutes and then you rinse it off so I've, I've never really used one like this this was really nice this made my skin feel really hydrated and soft I really liked it and I actually went and bought another packet because I really liked it <laughs> and I finished up the glow lab facial wipes which is also cruelty free and recyclable and I've repurchased Here it is here. <laughs> In fact, I've, I've got a backup of that because um, my daughter's both home and um, they often steal my makeup wipes. So I thought I'd just get some extras. And another cleanser I used up was my Alita Dental Cleansing Fun. I use this one in the mornings when I just, I just want a light cleanse. This one was okay. I have got another one because um, I was gifted two of them when um, Paul left the company. So I am using the second one now. I don't know if I would buy it though. It, it works really well and everything, but Walida is a really expensive brand in New Zealand. And I don't know if I liked it enough to repurchase it myself, but I'm quite happy to use it. <laughs> and also I used it my Walida. Creamy body wash, which I've used a lot of before because, as I said, when my husband was working for the company, we um, got product from them. But um, I think I've run out of this scent, but I'm using something else from the same range at the moment. And the Birch Body Scrub. This was quite nice, and I've got another one in the cupboard to use. And again, as I said, it's quite expensive, so I don't think I would 
repurchase. If, if Paul was still working for Olivia, I would happily keep using it. <laughs> so, the Glow Lab Age Renew Regenerating Face Serum with Collagen Boosting Serum for a firmer, smoother complexion. I use this all up. Provides peptides, plump skin, smooth fine lines and wrinkles, while vitamin C and rosehip oil provide powerful antioxidants for brighter and more radiant skin. Um, I, I'm not going to repurchase this one. I didn't notice any difference in my skin. It was perfectly nice to use. It didn't cause any problems, but I didn't use it and think, wow, this is amazing or anything. So I'm not going to bother with that one again. The Elizabeth Arton, the Elizabeth Arden Superstar Skin Renewal Booster. This was a little sample I got. I actually really like this, but I don't know that I would buy it because it's too expensive. <laughs> There's a bit of a thing going on here. And my Milani? No, hang on. We'll, we'll finish the clean things off. The Sunken Super Greens Cleansing Oil. I have finished this up. And um, I have repurchased this several times. And I was using, um, I don't know whether you remember last month, but last month I had bought something different for a cleanser and it turned out to be like a, a balm to oil cleanser and I used that for a while and it was breaking out and it could have been the coconut oil in it. So um, I ended up buying this again and stopped using it and then my face kind of felt better after that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that other one. And I used up a conditioner. So the Glow Lab Color Protect Conditioner. So this one has it's silicone free, sulfate free, antioxidant rich, keratin enriched. I quite like the uh, hair products, so I have already repurchased that and I'm using it. And the Valida Lavender Bath Relaxing Bath Milk. I have used up. I really like this bath milk. This would be a product I would consider repurchasing because I do actually really like it, even though it is quite expensive. I haven't repurchased it because I still have two in the cupboard because when we knew he was leaving, we had a certain amount of money we could spend on products and I stocked up all the stuff I really enjoyed. I used up a flash eyelash serum and I've done a review on this, on growing my lashes and things, which I will link up in the cards. And um, I have repurchased this. This I'm on my third bottle, I think. I really like it. I don't want to stop using it because my lashes are way longer than they have ever been and they actually look like normal lashes instead of looking like I have no lashes so I really like it. I used up a perfume. It was a tiny sample bottle. So it was just one of these tiny sample bottles. It was the Elizabeth Atten white tea one and I got it free in something I'd brought. Um, it took me a whole month to use this up. That's, that's how little perfume I wear. I used it every day. Once a day, I used, I used my um, raspberry one, I used my Body Shop raspberry one in the evening, because I like this scent at night time, and I used this one in the morning for, for daytime use. It was okay, I wouldn't rebuy this one, I didn't like it enough to rebuy, but I was just amazed how long it took me to use this. I could just have samples of perfume and be perfectly happy, because after a month I have to want to change my scent anyway. <laughs> so, and one... Two, two makeup items I have used up. So I have used up the Milani Brow Stay Put Brow Colour, which is why I have been using my eyeshadow as a brow product because I use this one up. Now there is still some product in here, but it's too dried up to use. So you can see it on the sides there, but it's too thick and crumbly and it doesn't work properly. So I decided that was that was done. And I used up my NYX matte liquid liner. This is my favourite liquid liner because I like a brush tip if you like a brush tip. But you can see it's all thick. And I tried um, thinning it down, but it, um, it just thickened up again. So I called that one done and I have repurchased this already. So uh, I like it. If you don't like a brush liner, if you prefer a felt tip, then you're not going to like this. But I and it stays on well on me. And that, uh, that is, that wasn't very good English. That is my empties.
for a feather. So, what did I purchase? Well, I enjoyed this mask so much that I purchased some more because it comes with three sheet masks. And it was a really good deal, actually, because sheet masks can be quite expensive in New Zealand to get something that nice and works well. So, um, I really like this, and I got the other two as well. So, this one is um, Restore Rose Water and Collagen. So, it says a powerfully re. Juvenating combination of turning rose water combined with lime smoothing collagen and active botanicals for hydration without nasty chemicals or parabens. So, and this one is, this one you wash off too. All of these ones you wash off. So, it's different from what I'm used to. And this one was Nourish. So, this one has got New Zealand Kawa Kawa and flaxseed oil. A nourishing combination of omega and antioxidant rich New Zealand native kawa kawa and flaxseed oil infused with hyaluronic acid to restore skin's natural glow. So it's supposed to fight dullness, fine lines, uneven tone and texture caused by daily UV exposes, exposure, stress and aging and the hyaluronic acid is 100% non-animal derived. So I haven't tried this one out. I'm looking forward to trying that one out. I'm looking forward to trying this one out. And again, it's the one that you wash off. And I liked this one, so I know I'll enjoy that again. And I've never seen them in the warehouse before, and I've never seen them anywhere else. So I thought I would buy them while they were there, because I figured they must have got them for um, Christmas gift sets and things. What else did I buy? Um, I bought some sunscreen, because my one... Oh, my one is running out already. Um, it's in a different bottle. I hope it's the same formula, but they've changed the bottle. So they've changed the bottle. Oh, it's a little pump. So, I'm not sure if I've got the right thing. It's, does it look the same? This one says ultralight fluid. This one doesn't say that, maybe they're different. So, yeah, that one's quite creamy. And this one. Mm, yeah, this one's lighter. It's not the same. They didn't have any of this one. So I hope they haven't changed it. Or that this one works just as well as the other one. I will have to try it and see. I'm worried now. Because this is the only sunscreen that I can I put on my face that actually doesn't break me up because every other sunscreen I've ever tried does. So I'll be really annoyed if they stop selling it. <laughs> and I also got two more of their products. La Roche Posse. So I I have used their vitamin C cream before and really liked it. And really liked it. And so I repurchased this because um, I had no vitamin C cream at all. So this is just the box because the stuff is in my bathroom and I'm actually using it and enjoying it. And um, instead of buying, I was buying the Elizabeth Arton retinol little capsules, but um, I decided to try this instead. So Redumic R. So it's, oops, I have this upside down. <laughs> So it's a retinol cream. And um, I've been using this every second night. Just to try it out. I repurchased my flash eyelash serum, which I already told you. I repurchased my um, LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I, I like this. I got this one in Brunette. I've, I am using one at the moment. But, um, they go down quite fast, so this this one's fairly new, so I've got this much left, but it is a backup one, because I can only buy them in Hastings, so if I run out, I can't just run down the road and get one, it's a bit more of a trip, so I did buy a backup. And I'm nearly finished one of my proactive first step cleanser that I use in the evening, so I bought another one that I use. And I brought another one of my cleansing oil because I love this oil. 
And I bought two nail polishes. Where did I buy nail polish? I can't remember why I bought nail polish, but I like the colours. I went shopping with Melissa, that's why there's my daughter. <laughs> my oldest daughter absolutely loves nail polish and she always ends up in the nail polish department and looking at nail polish and then I end up buying something, so I did buy two. So I bought this one here from OPI and this one is significant other colour and I brought it home and realised my other daughter has already got this colour, <laughs> but never mind. And I bought this one which is a silly Hanson one. Miracle Gel, and what's this colour? It's called Shimmer, with lots of S's. So I thought that was really pretty. It's kind of a, it's kind of a gold with a peach shift. So that just really appealed to me. Surprise, surprise. And the other thing I brought was, it's not makeup, but it's something for my makeup. And that was these magnetic sheeting and my idea for this is and I've already used it so I know it works is that when I depot some of the stuff out of some of my palettes that aren't magnetic I can just pop a little bit of this because it's really thin I can pop a little bit of this into the pan and when I want to shift it back I can shift it back into the pan that it came from so I can keep the palette together but then if I want to swap things out I can because um, I love doing that with my colour pop palettes if I want to make my own colour scheme because they're all being needed and you can pop them out so um, I've been enjoying doing that some things are harder to do than others and some of them you have to be careful you don't break them and stuff so and I did make a revolution order and a colour pop order but um, that was for Christmas present, so I can't show you that. <laughs> so what's been some favourite products this month? Um, I did my Colourpop order. I did, I did show you what I got from Colourpop actually in my... I've fairly been enjoying this, which is... Highlighter. That's the horse and carriage highlighter. Is it an amazing highlighter? I think it's all. I'm wearing it today. It's a nice highlighter. But I just love the packaging. It's, it's so pretty and it brings me fond memories of childhood because Cinderella was always my favourite. <laughs> and I've been enjoying shopping my stash and using shopping my stash and playing with different colour schemes and things from stuff from my stash this last month. So basically the same as the months before really. <laughs> and one thing that I have been starting to do this month, and I've only been doing it in the last couple of weeks, and you will see more of it in the future, is that um, there's a bit of a difference from makeup. I have been really playing around with my outfits and what I'm wearing, and I've been really enjoying that. And coordinating my makeup to go with what I'm wearing, which I usually do anyway, but I've been more intentional about it and um, having fun with that. So that's my favourites for this month. Is there any other favourites for this month? This mask was definitely a favourite this month, because I actually used it twice and went and out and brought some more. So, so I would say this was my favourite for this month. So that was my November in review. So how did your November go? Did you have any favourites this month? I I started off, when I started this series, I started off doing a tip for the month, but um, I forget to write down anything <laughs> that I've thought of. And then when I go to do the video, I can't remember any tips for the month. So... Apart from wear your sunscreen <laughs> is a big tip for this month because um, for a lot of people who watch me they're going into winter but we are going into summer so I have got out the sunscreen. <laughs> so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.